part last Sunday, or at least I'll mention, today we'll talk about this, is a disregard for others. A disregard for others. Now, this is where I feel, in most of Paul's writing, he's really talking about, in terms of liberty in Christ, the law of liberty. As I understand it, and that's God's revealed to me, imagine this cross. I cross our relationships with others, and I work relationships with God. Right. This liberty that Christ has called, that God has called us into through, through the work of Christ, provides us freedom from sin. Freedom from, or should I say, freedom from enslavement to sin, and freedom from the law of sin. Also, freedom from the Mosaic law, or the law of pleasing God in such a way that we have to be, we got to keep every jot and tittle of the law in order for us to be pleasing to God. So when Christ came and died for us, he gave us that freedom, and now we now live by the law of the spirit of life. Now, wrapped up in that freedom, from what I can see in this particular message here, is the horizontal relationship in which we've been called to be free. And that is to serve one another. We have not been called into liberty to ourselves or for amongst ourselves. Amen. We have been called into liberty to serve others. Right. Look at what Paul says in, in, in verse 24 of our text. Let no one seek his own but the well-being of another. And it also, this is this, this, this throughout his, his writing, also in Galatians 5, 13 and 14, he says, don't allow your, 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 your live to be an opportunity for the flesh, but seek to serve one another. Through love, serve one another. What is the greatest or the second greatest commandment that Jesus left for us? To love our neighbor as ourselves. See, if we are the danger of disregarding others, that we lose, we lose sight <coughs> that we are ultimately called for this, for this vertical relationship with God and also this horizontal relationship with one another. So if we are, if we are, are, are partaking or overindulging in our own interest, then you are forsaking the very commandment that God has called you into and to walk by, loving thy neighbor as thyself. Turn with me 